Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, side lengths are uh, 65, 156, 182, and uh, 195 units uh, respectively. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, A, B, C is uh, 90 degree angle. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this quadrilateral uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are going to think uh, outside the box. And now let's make an observation. We can see all of these uh, dimensions uh, of this quadrilateral uh, are divisible by 13 across the board. So therefore, we are going to divide each and every number by 13. If we divide this uh, by 13, that is going to give us uh, 5. And if we divide 56 uh, by 13, it is going to give us uh, 12. And if we divide this uh, 182 by 13, that is going to give us uh, 14. And finally, if we divide this uh, 195 by 13, that is going to give us uh, 15 units. So thus our new sets of uh, dimensions turn out to be 5, 12, 14, and uh, 15. And dealing with these uh, smaller number is going to make our job simpler. And we know 13 square is going to give us uh, 169. So whatever area we get, we are going to multiply that number by 169. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, these two vertices A and C. And as a result, we get these uh, two triangles, this uh, right triangle ABC and this another triangle uh, ACD as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of the quadrilateral uh, ABCD is going to be equal to the area of uh, triangle uh, ABC, the area of this uh, triangle plus uh, the area of this uh, the triangle uh, ACD. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and the area of the other triangle uh, ACD as well in order to calculate the area of this uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. We know its uh, side lengths uh, are uh, 5 uh, and 12. And now we are going to calculate uh, this unknown side length uh, AC. And now let's recall the well-known Pythagorean triplets 5, 12 and 13. And we can see our these two legs are 5 and 12. So therefore our hypotenuse is going to become 13 units. You may use the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square to calculate uh, this unknown uh, side length as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. For this uh, triangle uh, ABC, this uh, side length is our base and this side length uh, is uh, our uh, height of this triangle. So therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times uh, our base uh, is uh, 12 times our height is uh, 5 units. And if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 30 square units. So thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 30 square units. And now let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, ACD. And we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ACD as well. And we are going to use the Heron's uh, formula. Area of the triangle equal to the square root of uh, S times uh, S minus A times S minus B times uh, S minus C. Where S uh, is equal to A plus B plus C all over 2. So no wonder this S is called the semi-perimeter. And now I'm going to label uh, this side length of this triangle as lowercase a, this side length uh, lowercase uh, b, and this side length uh, lowercase uh, c. Then our uh, lowercase a value is going to be 15, lowercase b value is uh, 14, and lowercase uh, c value is going to be 13. 
So let's go ahead and calculate uh, the value of S. So S is going to be equal to our A value is 15, B value is 14, plus C value is 13, all over 2. And if we simplify, our S value is going to be 42 divided by 2. That means our S value is going to be equal to 21 units. And here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ACD. We are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So our S value is uh, 21. Once again, S value is 21. Our A value is uh, 15. Once again, S value is 21. B value is uh, 14. S value is uh, 21. C value is uh, 13. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have substituted uh, all those uh, values uh, over here. And now we can see 21 minus 15 is going to give us 6. 21 minus 14 is going to give us 7. And finally, 21 uh, minus 13 is going to give us uh, 8. So therefore, we can write uh, this one as the square root of uh, 21 uh, times uh, 6 times 7 times 8. And now let's make an observation. We can see 6 could be broken down to 2 times 3. As you can see in this next step, here I wrote down 2 times 3 for this 6. And now we are going to multiply 3 times 7 is going to give us 21. And 2 times 8 is going to give us 16. As you can see in this next step, and now let's make an observation. We know the square root of 21 and 21 is going to give us 21. And the square root of 16 is 4. So therefore, we can write this one as 21 times 4. That is going to give us 84 square units. So thus the area of this triangle ACD turns out to be 84 square units. And now let's recall this uh, equation once again. The quadrilateral ABCD area is equal to the sum of these uh, two individual uh, triangle area. And we know the area of this triangle uh, ABC is uh, 30. And the area of the other triangle ACD is uh, 84. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to give us uh, 30 plus uh, 84. That is going to give us uh, 114 square units. So thus the area of this quadrilateral ABCD turns out to be 114. However, our original values are 65, 156, 182, and 195. And we divided uh, these values uh, by 13. And 13 square is 169. So therefore, we are going to multiply this uh, 114 uh, by 169 to get the true value for the area of this quadrilateral ABCD. And if we multiply these uh, numbers, that is going to give us uh, 19,266 square units. So thus, after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this quadrilateral ABCD turns out to be 19,266 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.